Doctor. Atkins' death. Doctor. Robert Atkins, a worldly renowned cardiologist who developed one of the most best selling diet fads on earth known as Atkins Diet, was reported officially dead on April 17, 2003, after his accidental fall on April 8, which left him comatose until his death. As what many reports have said, Dr. Atkins' death was unexpected. He passed away just for the reason that he fell on an icy street outside his New York office, lost his conscience and never able to recover until his death on April 17. Soon after Dr. Atkins' death, thousands of those who denied the Atkins diet have reportedly showed sympathy to Dr. Atkins' family. Many have sent their condolences despite the attacks they've made for the Atkins diet plan. Speaking of attacks, Dr. Atkins' death has been used as another ground for attacking the ideals that Dr. Atkins had imparted to the public. Yes, several rumors about his death were told in pass. It was these rumors actually that had upset Dr. Atkins' widow, Veronica, triggering her to speak out about the real circumstances of Dr. Atkins' death. One of the biggest rumors about Dr. Atkins' death was that he died of a heart attack. Apparently, this rumor seemed odd as Dr. Atkins during his days had always insisted that his nutrition plan can make people attain a better and stronger heart and blood vessels. This claim is based on the belief that when people avoid excess intake of carbohydrates and increase their protein and fat consumption, the tendency is they will achieve a lower level of cholesterol and this is what will aid the dieters to avoid heart disease. Ironic as it may seem, it was reported after Dr. Atkins' death that he died of a heart attack. Well, it is known before his death that he suffered from cardiac arrest that is related to a heart infection, but the doctor had said that it was in no way related to the diet. Another rumor about Dr. Atkins' death was that he weighed 258 pounds when he died, which would qualify him as obese. However, Atkins' widow and Dr. Stuart Traeger, the spokesperson for Atkins Physicians Council, both argue that Dr. Atkins' weight was not more than 200 pounds at the time of his accident. They claim that it was perhaps the failure in his organs and the fluid retention and bloating that had distorted his body and left him at 258 pounds at the time of his death. This issue again is what made people confused even more. At present, the medical examiner's office will only say that Dr. Atkins died because of a head injury from the fall. It may still seem difficult to answer the question about the real cause of Dr. Atkins' death as an autopsy was not actually performed on him because of certain objections raised by the doctor's family to the procedure. What were only conducted on him were an external exam, as well as a review on the hospital records released during Dr. Atkins' death. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.